One thing that we can all agree on in this room is that we absolutely need energy independence for our residents and our nation. Now imagine how exciting it will be when residents of the state of Michigan do not ever have to go to a gas station, ever that a solar panel on your roof will charge your car in your garage, that you generate your own energy to charge your own vehicle, vehicles that we make here in the state of Michigan with union labor that we all just voted to support. And the idea that somehow going backwards, that increasing fossil fuel production is the right move in the wake of a report that just came out last week from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that says that the impact of climate change, the rate of climate change, is outpacing our ability to adapt. And it is no longer an abstract construct because every single person in this room has seen the impacts in their districts in record flooding, in water in basements, in power outages that last for days, in crops that have failed because we have heat waves and cold snaps and it is only going to get worse and worse and worse. We need energy independence in this state, so we should do everything in our power to invest in, support, and remove arbitrary restrictions that this state currently has in place on renewables in favor of fossil fuels. Michigan currently has the strictest in the nation solar energy cap. And there was bipartisan support last term in lifting or raising that cap so that more Michiganders can truly become energy independent. But this body chose not to take action on that issue. We need to be clear here. Yes, costs at the pump are high. But going backwards on fossil fuels, on continuing to pump fossil fuels, when the IPCC says that the only way to take action now is to eliminate completely fossil fuel emissions by 2050, not slow them down, eliminate. Because if we do not, and we go backwards now, then we are condemning every single resident of the state of Michigan to insurmountable suffering due to floods, heat waves, power outages, crops. We will no longer be able to produce crops in this state. And Michigan, I may remind everybody, is the Great Lakes state. We are home to more than 80% of the country's fresh water and more than 20% of the world's fresh water. So if you want to talk about national security, we should be doing everything in our power to protect that water source because as states around the country and countries around the world have heat waves, this is our most valuable resource. So I encourage a no vote on this resolution for disingenuously trying to take advantage of the world at war to condemn Michiganders to suffering. Thank you.